Hello, howdy, yes, hello, hello, um, hi. <laughs> I forgot my intro. Well, hello, I am Stefan, or Mr. Steve Steve. Uh, this is a video by me. Who would it else be, apart from Chris? Um, yes, well, basically, I am doing a playthrough of Oblivion. Let's play. Um, it's not my first episode. No, my second, it is more like the tenth. So, if you're a bit behind, you might want to catch up. But, you've not missed much, and to be fair, I've, I've lost what I was doing. And I think I was playing this the other night. But nonetheless, I'll get straight into it. Right. Um, I tried recording, and then um, failed a few times. The video just would not sync up. It would stop, it would do this, would do that, what's your name? Alright. Um, I right, I already know you. You are an Easter egg. Um, off Morrowind. Um, anyway, so I was kind of running about the shop, didn't know what to do, and then I came up to this, and I've never been here before in the entire game. Never, never been to this little graveyard with this, with the Tiber Septum insignia. And a blatant use of the Roman olive branch. Roman olive bread. No. Anyway, and I found Nern Roots. Yay! Nern Roots. So basically, uh, yeah. You're all caught up. Um, I've done a couple of quests that all failed recording. Um, I've done the bloated float one, and I got myself a sweet ass sword. So cool, man. Look at this. That's that, that's the noise it makes. Doesn't really, but. Anyway. So. I've been, before in my previous episodes, I've been um, subjecting you to the boring shit where you basically just play the game how the game wants you to play, but I'm different. I'm, um, I'm playing the game like I want to play, and so far playing the game I want to play, um, it's not turned out so well. I've, I've got very little money. I've only got 786 gold. Um, I need 5,000 gold to buy a house. So I'm a bit in the red. Bit in the, yes, a bit in the red. Uh, I need to be in the black. Actually, no, that, that relates to, um. Oh yeah, that's an Easter egg. There's loads of gold on this place next to Fort Homestead. Um, so just come here if you want some gold nuggets. But yeah, um, being in the red and stuff means about, it's kind of, to do with debt and I don't think anyone who's watching this is in debt unless you're a drug pusher or a drug lord in debt with some other drug lord. right it doesn't matter you've got us onto a little tangent here see this is all your fault where am I where am I where am I where have you to oh Paul's Paul's gate I know where I am because Umbra is there I'm not gonna go and kill Umbra, which is very difficult. And I haven't got very good weapons. And I could do with doing some uh, missions, actually. It would, uh. Oh, oh this is an another Easter egg, brilliant. And show you another one, it's called the Drunken Troll. If this is the. Is, is this the one? Um. Nope, this is not the one, apparently. Is it. I don't believe it is. Nope. Nope. I've just got your hopes up for nothing. Why can I not submerge? That'll be why it's like an inch deep. Well, an inch to any normal sized person, but I'm a wood elf. So I'm a bit I'm I'm in I'm in the deep. I'm in the deep end. Not cannonball deep, but I'm in the deep end. Right, so what was I meant to be doing? Right. Probably just go off in this general direction till I find something. I suppose what I normally do. Have a little chat to you. Have a little talksies. Have little swimsies. That's the bridge. That be the bridge! I'm going to bridge! Found the drunk control with a little funny message. It will have no impact on your game standing. You will not achieve anything apart from a bottle of wine. 
But it's it's a funny nonetheless Easter egg. I would say it is an Easter egg. I don't know. I don't know the definition of Easter egg. The troll isn't here. Horse shit. Hmm. Maybe I've already got it. Oh no. It's not good. It's not it is not good. Is this where Umbra is? Umbra-ra-ra. <laughs> umbra -ra. Ow. I think I'm getting a bit of FPS drop here. And also my headsets are off. So I couldn't hear anything. That's why. I couldn't hear the beautiful symphony. Chop. Bit bastard. Hello. Hello, Mr. Friend. Try to shoot me, why don't you? Huzzah! Sleep now. Sleep. Sleep. I'm Dracula. I will bite you and drink your blood. Of course I won't. I'm not a vampire. Don't be silly. I will have your iron arrow though. Hmm. Lovely iron arrows. This is uh, where Umber is. Hmm. Right. Well, this is achieving much. Um, oh. Alchemic ingredients. Bit mushroom spores. Ooh, forgot I got a cup of tea and I haven't even been drinking it. It's gonna go cold. Lovely. Hit the spot. If we get a few more subscribers, I'm gonna make a tea tutorial how to make decent cup of tea because most people just put their tea bag in and um, you know how the average person makes tea I'm, I'm, a, I'm a different I, I pour love into my tea I materialize love and pour it straight into the tea I dare I shoot it into the vein of the um, tea plant I've got and uh, I shoot love and hot juices man juices into it and then um, it produces a lovely blend of tea. I sell it on as well. It's called Stefan's Earl Grey Tea. Um, the Earl Grey bit is um, copyright problems. It's had a couple of copyright issues, but I'm changing it to um, to Elder Tea. So me and Elder Ted are getting involved into it, so it's all right. Oh, so I'm going to explore this place, actually. Um, hello, dog. Sorry, dog. What have you got on you? Nope. Usually you have the bit of gold shoved up the bum so you can uh, wriggle around and get a bit of gold. Ah. <sighs> right. Why did I come over here? Oh yes, I had a purpose. There was meant to be a chest here. Well, there's usually a chest along one of these. It's probably over there. Let's have a little gander over to the other side. Skyrim, I'm actually going to say something about Skyrim because this is a preparation video for Skyrim. It's my farewell salute to the great game that was Elder Scroll 4 Oblivion. I will still play it in the future, fell off the thing. Um, but it, Skyrim, Skyrim will uh, be my uh, main focus, my main priority. I haven't even pre-ordered it yet. And any true Skyrim or Oblivion Elder Scroll fan would um, be pre-ordering the... Sorry there, po pooches. The collector's edition, but I'm sorry, but the collector's edition is r such a rip. It's bloody ridiculous. I mean, I've got 330 quid in the bank, but I'm not paying that much for a silk map, a dragon, and um, what else? An art. The art book looks quite good. A 200-page art book. Um, but that's that. That's that's no warrant to charge a hundred and thirty pound. I mean, I think it's a hundred and sixty dollars in in America, but in England it's that much, and it's bloody ridiculous. It's 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 blasphemy. It's scandalous. It's. I was gonna say bigamy, but that's when you cheat on your wife or have multiple wives, so that's not bigamy. You alright, zombies? Zombie zombies? I will have your fatigue. You cheeky bugger. Chop, chop, chop. 
Sorry. Oh, blade skill. That means I need to sleep for a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna actually switch up to the bull. And um, I'm gonna find some sort of light spell as well. Starlight, that would do. Of course, when, you, you, when you've illuminated yourself, you can't be stealthy, but I'm willing to forgive my stealthy nature to um, help the viewers, you, people who are watching this through your computer or iPod, um, see what I'm seeing. Now, of course, you'll not see what I'm seeing because on the screen I see is pink clouds and purple elephants, but... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. It's, it's a serious problem. No, I'm only joking. Oh, it's a rat. I can't see anything through this thick fog. Oh, I can see you. I can see you. Shoot your bloody arrow. I'll shoot mine. It was hopeless. Wasted some. I like the inertia and the momentum the arrow had and how that skeleton's head stayed where it was. That's brilliant. That that really makes the game worth playing. That bit alone. Everything else is shit. Everything about this game is shit, apart from how skeleton's head stays where they are when you shoot them. Or shoot the bodies. I'll have that knight in gold. Lol, JK, but I'm being chased by a zombie. Oh. 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 How do I keep shooting him at the... I'm shooting... <laughs> he's gonna really... Well, I was gonna say he'd be hurt, like, hurt in the morning, but... He's probably... De he's dead already, so... That, that would be painful for any sane, normal human being. I'll take them out, so it doesn't... It doesn't feel the pain as much. Do zombies even feel pain? Do zombies even actually feel pain? Hmm... I'm gonna ask my mum about this one. This is serious, but ow, ow! Get away! Where have you gone? Oh, there you are. <laughs> see, head stays still. I'm gonna ask my mum about that. See if the zombies stay still. I mean, see if zombies feel pain, cause ah! I'm gonna punch the TV. Well, not literally, but I am very annoyed that with myself. But it's okay. I think I know where I am. Hello, ghost. Frost. Oh, yes. Frost doesn't damage. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. That is not good. I also burnt my head with straighteners, and I've just touched the burn, and it's not good. It hurts very much. Lockpick, brilliant. Shut up, you limey bastard. Oh, this is... Sod it, I'm gone. Leaving for good. Hate this place. Ran out of lockpicks, nice one. It's your fault, you know. You cheeky ghost bastard. Oh, I'm having words with your mother. Think you're so clever, Mr. I can shoot lightning and shit. Well, frost. And touch me and cool. But no, you can't. You can just drop ectoplasm and that's it. Yeah. What a waste. What a waste. I say I'm gonna... I'm gonna play the game I, the way I play it and how much I, money I earn, you know, it's gonna throw it straight back in my face, this game, isn't it? Bloody ridiculous. It always happens, you know, it always happens. You say, I'm gonna go and, um, I don't know, get go to shops to get some cheese or something, and there's no cheese, you go to, you're gonna go buy Red Dead Redemption. There's no Red Dead Redemption in store. You gotta wait a month buy bloody Red Dead Redemption because it's sold out in every shop which is quite impossible you know I'm having a little rant here I think I need another cup of tea or maybe a coffee I don't know it's like 10 o'clock in the morning it's early for me this is like 5 o'clock in the morning for any, every, any 
normal person, but for me, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry I went on a rant, but it would appear I've done a 360 all the way round. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna go with this. It, it's a rat! Ow. It's got rabies and stuff. Cheeky bugger jumping at us. Ugh, feel violated. Oh, I've never noticed this before. Oh. Have I become more observant today, or has things just cropped up that I'd never seen before? Mm. Oh, I know where I am. Because this fort is bloody shit. You see, if I say it's going to be bad, then it, if and it's good, then I, I... Oh, this is where the nec necromancers are, I believe. It's got, like, a altar, and you can, um... Is this where the necromancers are? But I wouldn't really care, because I've got low damage. Yeah. That'll do. I think this is where the necromancers are. And they've got an altar. Nope, this isn't. This is for Nick Hell. Oh, it's a deer. It's a deer. No, but it's, it's with the undead. Old wooden door to Fort Nickel. Oh, it's my phone. It's going off. My mistake, it's 12.30. It's not 10 o'clock in the morning. Wow. It's got to be stealthy, like the cats. Nice. You didn't make a noise at all. You know, just a ah! business. Was that a marauder? It was a marauder. I know where. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I think. I think I know what I'm doing. Oh, 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 oh. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. The good thing about Skyrim, by the way, is um, when you shoot people with arrows or whatever, you, they don't notice you. Um, if they don't see you, people can point them out, like, but they they won't notice you. So that's that's a good thing about it. Like, so if I was to shoot this guy up here, for example, which I am going to do anyway, because he's a wizard and he's a limey bastard. But if I was to shoot him or shoot them and they didn't notice us, then... Oh, they're having a fight. Ow. Yeah, they wouldn't notice us, and um, I've repeated that three times now. Bravo, Stefan, bravo. You've made yourself look like a tit again. Yeah. As I remember this fort, I shit it all. Sleep. Thought that was a black bandit. Bro. Black bear bandit. Ow. Actually, they should have picklocks, and I need picklocks. Marauders don't. Marauders. They're tricky buggers, them, but bandits usually do. And bandits, actually, bandits are probably the best enemies on this game, and marauders, because you always get high level stuff from them when you're higher levels, like Daedric Curuses and stuff. Which is, that's always nice. I mean, I always like a good Daedric Curus for breakfast or such, but yeah. Yeah. Right, that's there. I'm not gonna jump. I said I'm not gonna jump, and I end up jumping. It's bloody ridiculous. I need to get my priorities straight. Ah. Oh. Yep, I need a cup of tea. That's what I need. Nothing more. Nothing less. Only a cup of the finest tea you serve. And some biscuits. Jammy dodgers would do nicely as well. 
So I'm just fantasizing over the um, commentary. Um, yeah, I think this will be me done um, for the day. Right, I've got to keep jammy dodges off the brain. Uh, jammy dodges. The best thing is about them is they've got like a a center of just pure jam, and to any Englishman. Jam in the center of two biscuits is a very nice combination. So is the Jaffa cake, but Jaffa cakes are stolen. Um, and, and nowhere sells them anymore, which is a shame. Because they're nice. I mean, the original way I like the Jaffa cakes is to, to take the sponge off and have... Because they've got kind of like orangey middle type thing. It's just, it's just nice. And you just... You just... You just suck on that, and that's how I like to eat my Jaffa cakes. But everyone else is entitled to their own opinion and method of eating Jaffa cakes. With a jammy dodger, I like to dip it into my tea. And never knew what the hell. Never had this before. What is this? I said, what? Come on, Nath Dyer. It's an anagram for something, I'm sure. Um. I know what anima anagram is. If you don't look it up, um, right? Never seen this before. I've never actually seen this before. I'm, I'm, in, I'm entirely shocked. This is my shocked face. Well, shocked tone of voice. Other than when Chris comes on Skypes and gives me the sh shits when he goes hello, he just runs at my and goes hello, and it scares the living daylights out of us. But yeah, um, never seen this guy. Let's read the letter together. Um. That's not him. Let. Oh. Oh. I'm just reading it through because it's kind of like a stalker letter. He's stalking this woman, I'm guessing. Oh, this man, if he's a homosexual. Um, that's fine with me. So he's holding a primrose. Um... Let's uh, let's do him a favor and eat this primrose. Sorry, sunshine and um, Nathan Dyer. Uh, he's missing a head, a right, left arm. Sorry, and his genitalia. Um, I don't think we'll be seeing you in the next video, but I would like to see you, the viewers, in the next video because it's always nice to have a comment, a like, or subscribe, which is which is like. The juicy center of a biscuit. I subscribe. And you, the viewers, are a juicy center of a biscuit. Because I love yous. I'm all Greg. Thank you for watching.